Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching Recipes for Life. I am Mercedes, and I have my friend Kristen here with me. And I'm sure you can see what we have in front of us here. It's bill season, and there is no way, there is no way that I could let the month of October approach us without honoring our breast cancer survivors. Um, I myself was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 28 years old, so this is something that is near and dear to my heart. So we mixed two things that we both love together. And Kristen is going to show us how she does this so fabulously and seamlessly. But Kristen, tell us really quick how you put this together. What is this? That's salami. So very easy salami that you use on a toothpick. Mm -hmm. So you fold the piece of salami in half and then you use the toothpick to thread two pieces together. Mm -hmm. And that way it makes it really easy for your guests just to pick up and eat. It looks so cool how she did it, but it's super simple. I don't have that type of creativity. I know it sounds weird, but you just took a block of cheese. Yep, white cheddar and then I sliced it into rectangles. And now most people would stop at the rectangles. That's me, right? I, I am most people. <laughs> That's okay. So instead of stopping at the rectangles, you take the rectangle and you cut it diagonally into triangular pieces. Mm -hmm. And then you can really lay them out. You can pile them. You can do different, um, lay them on their sides to make it really easy for people to pick up and eat. Mm -hmm. I need you to explain this. Yes. The breast can, the, oh, the symbol, the ribbon, yes. which means so much to me. Explain really quick how you did that. This technique is really easy. So you take a wheel of brie, you put it on its side, you cut it in half, and then you put the bottom half back in the, the bowl, so mm -hmm. it looks like a bowl. And then you take the top half and you take any shaped cookie cutter. So we use the ribbon shaped cookie cutter today. Mm -hmm. You lay the part that the cookie cutter went through back mm -hmm. on top, and then you add any type of jam right in the middle. Uh. So you can do this with a buffalo shaped cookie cutter, any type. And it makes it really easy, again, for guests to you know, take their knife, take it, put it on a cracker, um, yeah. people love it. Take a moment this season, make a charcuterie board and honor someone you love. We also want to thank New Era for these awesome t-shirts that not only honor the Buffalo Bills, but this is in honor of breast cancer survivors, right? And we want to thank them for the beautiful hats as well. And I would really love for you to say something about what maybe this board means to you and why you started. Why did you start doing charcuterie? I started meeting a charcuterie just because I love bringing people together. And something like this allows us all to just meet and eat and gather, and it's my favorite thing to do. There's this meme that I see, and I need your help. They say our generation, with all the charcuterie <laughs> boards, we're just the folks that grew up on Lunchables. Yes, fancy. True or false? True. True. Absolutely <laughs> true. And they're not just Lunchables. These are fancy Lunchables. That's how I like to think about it. Get some family together. Enjoy one another, celebrate one another. And again, to my survivor sisters, I honor you. Thank you for watching Recipes for Life.